so in the previous lesson we got this working now if you do something like this uh, it works we need to replace this part now there are two ways of doing this let me show you both the ways this is a entire list group item okay and this is the div which holds this item so what we can do is we take this first because this content is is not going to be generated from the from the javascript we can do this and say slash ul and close this div done so anything which we want to do we can write here so what we can do is what was that uh, the expense table right this is expense table and where is it let me see expense table so the id is expense table let's see if this works if this works let's see so now if we refresh and say 200 t-shirt it's not working what why is the question and how do we know about that we see the console says cannot set property inner html of null okay what did i do wrong i <laughs> this was a class <laughs> and I copied an ID property here. See, this just shows how how nobody knows how to code. That's it. Nothing else. It's okay. I can teach you something how not to be stupid. Definitely. So let's see. Two hundred was spent on T-shirt and ad. So this works good. So what what's happening is it it's just writing inside the UL, right? What you can do is now all you need is this list item right this thing here so this is just for the design i have made two but you need only one so there will be one more error coming and i'll show you what the error is but let's go through it one by one so what you need here is you need this and you need a big template string yes this is going to be big see and your expense amount expense amount is here so you replace it and your expense description is here so you replace this and you return this and delete this so now you have this one this one should work let's see 200 t-shirt voila this looks good this looks good now tell me why this is not coming this icon as the design it's not coming here remember the last last lesson i told you i'll show what is here and i did not show you this was closed this this is here so basically this is a font awesome site where in you can find all sorts of icon for free for your web application or website these guys are doing some awesome job maintaining all these icons and <clears throat> To get started you just need to that need to get that script and you have all the icons which you can see any icon files emoji genders halloween all of this most and most of them are free so this is this is awesome you just say free and see these are these are the icons which are free and you have the solid regular light ones all of this so they're doing a doing a really good job you can have code icons see it's quite quite useful any icon you want just go ahead and use it make sure that it's free though so these icons you know for the first time i learned about this font icon thing i was so super impressed super happy like oh my god this is what i have been waiting for all my life kind of thing <laughs> so i hope you you guys also got excited that now you have all these icons to put in your web applications in your website we have put one that's all and the way to put is you just say i class equals to this so if you want to put say folder open icon one second sorry say file code icon so you'll get how to put it you get this you click to copy so you, you have copied it and suppose you want to put it here instead of our trash icon you just copy and it will be rendered so it's very nice that way 
anyway so we we come back to the topic this was not working right this was sorry this this is not working there is no there is no button here there's no icon here so all you need to do for, to get that icon is copy this the script tag and paste it here and this was the reason I did not copy everything so that I could walk through font awesome for you. Now if you refresh this and do say 200 t-shirt, you get the icon and this icon is a button and this button is supposed to be deleting this. Okay. It's supposed to be deleting this. Now there, are, now this is working. So if you have say 500 and a movie and add, you get all this. So this looks beautiful. This does look very good. There are many things which are not working. The date is March 11, 2019, March 11, 2019. And this delete is not working. And one more thing I want to do is clean this after add is pressed. I want to clean this back to placeholder. And this total looks bad, but it's fine. We'll, we'll come to this later. So guys, before we move to the next video, let's see this i told you guys that i'll be doing something special here instead of doing all of this i want to do something better because this way your html is getting bigger and bigger right and it's all in your this all your html is in your javascript so what to do about it what we can do about it is we can create functions for your html for creating html so what this could be you can say function create list item item and what it needs is it needs a description and amount so it needs an object which has description and amount as input i'll show you why i'm doing this this is this is this is also a smart thing which to do i'll show you why so what this does is it takes description an amount and returns an HTML element. So what you do is you just take this whole thing from here, put it here. This way your logic, your logic is clean and your view is somewhere else. So you, you separate your controller, your logic from the view. All your view is all, all the JavaScript, all the JavaScript, which is responsible for HTML is somewhere else and all the JavaScript which is responsible for logic is somewhere else. Now how to how to use this? Let me show you. For this to use, all you have to do is say create list item. And then when you open it, you see it shows that it needs an object with description and amount, two keys. So when you do this, it it creates an object here with description and amount. So when you pass this, it says see again when you when we i'll do this it will say description and amount are needed now if i pass the the expense object here it has description and amount both so this is fine and this has description and amount so all you need to do here is remove this and remove this this is called destructuring so what you are doing is you are destructuring this description and amount out of the object expense which is coming so read about it the structuring in javascript mdn and read all about it what it does how it's useful it's very useful tool you will see a lot of code like this when you start reading javascript and that's why i am using all these es6 things because once you go through documentation you need to understand what's happening so read about it and coming back to this now so now you have a clear function which returns the view part and you have a controller which controls the control part. Now what you can do is since this is doing nothing but just returning this, you can make this as a lambda function. So this will be in one line. This will look good. This looks good now. And I hope this all is working. So let's say amount spent 200 on t-shirt and you do add it works very nice say 2000 and you say something like um, like a phone i don't know if you can get a phone for 2000 rupees but yes apparently you can 
so this works beautifully and the thing which i wanted to show you here is that your view layer can be here sorry that your view layer goes down here so that we, whatever we create it's down in the next videos we'll put more functionalities to this let's hope you enjoy putting delete and clearing these things and all of the other items we are going to do in the next videos stay tuned keep coding bye bye